Hi, I'm Rosalind Bell, and today I'm going to show you how to change the strings on your classical guitar. Um, but before we get started, I would like to mention that we, myself and Jay Finch, do teach Skype guitar lessons. We teach rock, blues, pop, folk, fingerstyle, and of course classical. Uh, so if you think that might be something for you, please go ahead and check out our website, and you can contact us there. Um, also, if you have any ideas for future tutorials or if there's anything you'd like to learn about, please go ahead and write a comment below. Uh, that will be helpful for us that we know what kind of content you'd like to see. Okay, let's get started. So, what you're going to need, of course, your guitar, a set of strings, a clipper to cut the strings. I usually just use a nail clipper. And it's helpful, uh, but not strictly speaking essential, to have a string winder. So, uh, I'm going to start here with the first string, E and start by just taking the tension off of it. So, just unwind it till it's quite loose. And keep going till it doesn't make any sound anymore. Okay, now we're gonna cut it. So, just cut with my clipper here. And you can take the ends out of both sides. I'll clean those up later. Sometimes they're a little futzy. There we go. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you the part you probably came for, which is the way that you tie it here onto the saddle. So, come on in for a closer look. Okay, so now we're going to stick the string through the hole here in the bridge. I'm stick it through. And now I'm going to make a small knot here at the end so that it won't get pulled through when we tension the string later. These strings are very slippery, so they need this kind of precaution. Okay, now I'm going to do this fancy little knot. So I wrap this end of the string under the rest of the string here. So it looks like that. And now I'm going to wrap this end over and under this piece that we've created. So I go over, under, one time. I'm gonna do two more times, so over, under, over, under, here we go. And now I just hold the knot here at the back side of the bridge and pull it through. And this is what it looks like. We have our knot here, which is securing the string so that if the tension happens to pull it through, it'll prevent it from pulling through all the way, okay? and the string is all twisted up and it's secure and firm against the bridge. You can see that I've done the same kind of knot for all of the treble strings, with the exception that for the G, I only went over and under twice instead of three times because the string is so thick that three times don't fit. Okay, for the basses I did a different type of knot. Um, for the bass strings, actually, uh, you, you start in the same way go around and under, and then you don't have to do the twisty thing. You just hold the string down and pull it tight. Okay, I'll show you that in a second. Now let's go to the headstock. Now it's time to put the string through the hole here on the roller. So let's put it through. There we go. And now I'm gonna tie a knot just like this, just a simple knot. Okay, tie it. And now I roll the string uh, 180 degrees, so till so the other side of the hole is facing up. Stick the end through like this. And then I'm gonna do the same kind of simple knot again. I think I'm blocking it a bit here, but I'll show you in a second. There we go, just like that. Tighten it up. And that's all I do to tie it on there. Now it's just time to roll it up. So we take our string roller and we start rolling. Now you wanna make sure that you roll such that the string goes over the peg. Because if you do it the other way, I mean, it would also hold your string on just fine. It's not like it's um, a huge problem or anything from, you, know, you can see oh, my knot is all made to be rolling it up the first way. It's kind of looking messy. If you go the other way anyway, what happens is, that uh, later when it's time to tune your guitar, 
you're going to have to turn the uh, pegs in different directions depending on just how you did the string here and that can be very irritating. So it's best to just all do them the same way. That way, always when you want to make your string sharp, you go in one direction, flat, you go in the other direction, and then that makes it a lot simpler. Okay, so now you just wind it up. And periodically I just sort of tug on my knot to make sure it's still nice and tight. And I'm just going to keep winding until the string feels to be at approximately the same tension as all the others. So. so it's just feeling like it's getting a bit tighter now. I can hear that it's still not high enough. Okay, when it's getting more close, uh, then I would start tuning by ear. So also at the end, one last thing that I like to do is to clip these, these ends off. Uh, I don't like the look of them, so I think it looks neater when they're short, but also uh, particularly if they're very long, they can vibrate uh, during when you're playing and that doesn't sound very good. So you'll just take your clipper and cut it about a centimeter from where it's attached. Here, when we're tying on the bass strings, uh, a lot of string makers do have a part at the end of the string here where the windings are further spaced, which results in the string being more flexible in this area. You can see how it's bending here much more easily than it does in the rest of the string. They do that so that you have that flexibility, I and mean, you could do this kind of knot if you'd like. I actually always cut this off and do a different type of knot here, which I will show you. So I just clip that right off. Now it's, you could do it either way, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of personal preference. So I'm going to stick it through the hole. Now we start the same way as we did for the trebles. Okay, so we wrap it around. But now, instead of doing this loop thing, okay, I just have to stick it through once here. And I hold it down with my pinky and pull it back. And you can see what's very important here is that the string crosses under itself on this far side of the bridge, not on top. If the cross happens here on the top, it's not going to hold as well and your string will be detuning a lot. So it's better to have it on this far side. Okay, now you pull it tight and then you can just pinch it up a little bit and pull it. And as you tension the string, it will pull nice and tight, just like the others. Okay, that's how I do the bass strings. All right, so that was changing the strings on your classical guitar. Uh, please let us know in the comments if you have any questions or whatever you'd like to see next as our next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.